At the very start of Game of Thrones, you'll be asked to select a house to side with. Choose your house. You can select one of six houses. Stark, Baratheon, Lannister, Greyjoy, Tyrell or Martell. You will notice that you're not able to select House Targaryen. House Targaryen has its own special rules that will be covered in a later video. Choosing a house will give you a special ability that will help you throughout the game. Each of these are unique, so let's run through each of them. If you choose House Stark, this will increase the value of the Winter is Coming Hurry Up modes. This ups the value to 10 million points higher than what it would normally be. House Baratheon is helpful if you're shooting for Wall Multiball. It decreases the number of times that you need to count down to start the mode, as well as increasing the jackpot values when you reach it. House Lannister awards a player with more gold to spend, three times the amount that you'd normally get. This is useful for getting the more expensive mystery awards sooner in the game. House Greyjoy is interesting. Whilst this doesn't award anything straight away, it's a worthwhile house to go for because defeating other houses will reward you with their special ability, allowing you to reap a lot more rewards for completing houses. Bear in mind that the house battles can be made a little more difficult in places because of this. House Tyrell is useful for increasing the combo multiplier very quickly. One of the return lanes will always be lit to increase the multiplier. House Martell is potentially a very valuable house if you want to primarily go for multi-ball. Hitting the action button on the lockdown bar during multi-ball can add another ball to the game at any time. This is perfect for saving your multi-balls if you're quick enough. Whatever house you choose, go for one that you think will best help you throughout the game. If your strengths lie in multi-ball, go for Martell. If you want the best rewards from the mystery award, select Lannister.